Welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to structure the HTML document for display in a web browser or on a mobile device. We're going to cover some of the newest semantic conventions of HTML5, along with some of the older conventions that were standard in previous versions of HTML5. To begin fleshing out our HTML document, we'll work from the top down. The first required element that we need is the doc type declaration. Uh, the doc type declaration doesn't require a closing tag. This tag was much more complicated in previous versions of HTML, but HTML5 has simplified this once confusing element. Really all this tag does is tell the browser that it is loading an HTML document. After we've included the doc type declaration, we're going to want to open an HTML tag. If you have any questions about HTML syntax or the difference between opening and closing tags, please check out the Intro to HTML Syntax video by clicking on the pop-up below. This opening HTML tag is going to wrap around other elements, meaning that other element tags will be included inside of the HTML tag before it's closed. This is a concept known as nesting, which we'll talk about in more detail later. Before closing the HTML tag, we're going to want to add two nested elements within the open HTML tag. First, since we're working our way down the document, we're going to want to write an opening and closing head tag. The head of the document contains information that is typically not displayed in the web browser to an end user. It can contain metadata about the site, some JavaScript or CSS, or links to external scripts or style sheets. Next, we're going to want to write an opening and closing body tag. The body of the HTML document, as you might have guessed, contains all of the content that will be displayed by the web browser. For the sake of demonstration, let's go ahead and add two different HTML elements within the body tag. We can put in a level 1 heading and a level 2 heading. Finally, we want to close the HTML tag to indicate to the browser that anything below this spot can be ignored. Now that we've completed our HTML document, let's save the file and view it in a browser. It's worth mentioning that in HTML5, the HTML head and body tags are no longer required elements, but many standard-minded developers still include them anyway to make it easier to identify different parts of an HTML document and troubleshoot any bugs or potential issues. In the next section, we'll talk about some of the different HTML elements that can be used to mark up text for display on the web.